Look at this, we are in the middle of another awesome car wash. <laughs> that can mean only one thing, ladies and gentlemen. That's right, we have another road trip ahead of us. And now for the dry. Last time it was St. Louis that we were headed for, but this week's adventure is gonna bring us to Branson, Missouri. It's the Wisconsin Dells of Missouri, and it's gonna be fun. Can't wait to have you along with me for the ride. Oh boy, I'm sure glad I got my car washed yesterday. <laughs> I've been driving all night hoping to catch a beautiful sunrise, but this is what I get. <laughs> well, I guess it's true what they say, when it rains, it pours. Check-in parking only. We have finally reached our destination. Well, hello there, and welcome to yet another beautiful day for an adventure. Things have finally cleared up. After all night of driving, we have reached our destination, and we have a little bit of sunshine. That feels good. <laughs> and we are at Thousand Hills, which is a golf club and resort here in Branson, Missouri. And we are about to check in right there in front of us to the clubhouse, and find out what this place is all about. I have no idea what the room is gonna be like, so we're gonna do a room reveal, and I've got a premiere coming up pretty soon. I'm gonna do that, get a little bit of rest, and maybe do something else as well, show a little bit around the grounds. Who knows what kind of trouble we'll get into. But if you are brand new to this channel, go ahead and hit subscribe so you don't miss out on a thing. Welcome to another edition of Tommy Travels. It's Tommy Travels. Come on with me, you guys. Let's go see what there is to see. We have a helicopter going by over the beautiful grounds of the Thousand Hills Clubhouse, which is where we're about to check in. They have a golf shop over on the left side and a real estate area over on the right side. We're gonna go right here in the middle, get checked in and find out what this place is all about. Here's a look of the inside of the clubhouse and we just checked in right over there. And I just wanted to show a little bit of this uh, golf shop here. They've got golfing shoes and all sorts of shirts and nine chances to win up to $10,000. Now that's a pretty good deal. Oh my goodness, look at this wood carving. I love that. Laurel and Hardy playing a little golf, having some fun. <laughs> that is great. So our check-in time was at four o'clock I showed up about 3.40 and the room was actually ready. <laughs> that is very rare. Usually you have to wait about a half an hour even when you show up on time for your check-in. And so before we get to the room, I thought I'd show you a little bit of the beautiful grounds here. This is the golf course, very hilly and sand trappy and a lot of places for your ball to get stuck. But it looks like there's some people out there in the distance having some fun today. Even in the rainy weather, people will go out and golf, and I admire that. Very beautiful places around here, great neighborhood, and I believe this is our turn. Right here. Yep, Tuscany Place. This is it. This is where I'll be calling home for the next uh, few nights here. This is our building, and we are in unit number one, which I believe is... Yep, right here on the, oh, that's seven. So I must be on the other end. And here's the view from our little front porch area. We have a little covering in case of rain. You can watch a thunderstorm roll in. 
I don't mind being on the ground floor. I did that in Orlando and it worked out pretty good. Look, we have a doorbell. <laughs> no smoking. And now here's our key. Let's come in and take a look and see what we're in for here for a stay. Got a little foyer area. Whoop. Wow. Got some light switches we'll turn on. We got a front little closet. There's where we came in. There's a little place to put some things down and a mirror. A little closet area. Let's see what's in here. Oh, we got a vacuum and, <laughs> and cleaning. <laughs> Self cleaning area. Oh, we have a separate bedroom. Look at this, you guys. Whoa. King size bed. I'm sure the TV is in here. Not exactly a big screen TV, but that's all right. There's our view out outside for the parking area. Our neighbors out there. Got a nice little lamp here. Oh my gosh. Look at this. We have a kitchen. And a stove, we could do some cooking and microwaving. A full size fridge and freezer. Let's see if there's anything in these. Nope, clean and nice. Coffee pot, if you want to do some coffee. And look at this. Wow. This is one of the nicer places I've stayed in, that is for sure. Let's go and check out what's in here. Okay, looks like this is the bathroom area, the full shower and tub, a whirlpool tub at that, very nice. Got a one, one sink counter here which is fine, a hair dryer built in, and a washer and dryer. Holy cow! <laughs> This place was not that much more than some of the other places I was looking at. Wow. This is like a real deal. This is like a one bedroom apartment. And then a like a full size closet with pillow, extra pillows. Oh my gosh, you guys. This is absolutely unbelievable. <laughs> That's my room phone. <laughs> Usually it's a corded phone hooked up to the dresser. This is like a cordless phone that I could walk around the apartment and call room service. Hey, room service, bring me up some shrimp. <laughs> shrimp cocktail, please. Wow, I can't get over this. Look at this full kitchen. Got some bar stools here. And a full living room with a big screen TV. I thought the... The TV in the bedroom was the only one, and then when I first came in, I thought this back side was mirrors here, but it's a whole nother room. Look at this, a sliding door that goes into a little area to eat breakfast or lunch or work on some things. I could maybe hook my computer up in here, do some editing, and then there'll be a view that we can look at, I think. There's the view. Wow. Even on the first floor, you get a pretty decent view of things. This is amazing. And so we were able to get the computer and Wi-Fi set up in here. We had a successful premiere. And as much as I hate to leave this amazing hotel room, I think it is time to head out and get some more adventuring done. And last time when we were in St. Louis, we went to, after the room reveal, we went to, in the Hyatt, there was a Ruth's Chris Steakhouse. So we had some steak and shrimp, and I just don't think anything is going to top that. And so tonight we're going to try something 
Kind of on the opposite side of that realm, we're going to try some Italian food. And there's a place here called Peschetti's that's right in the heart of downtown in the middle of everything that we're just going to try out some good old-fashioned spaghetti and meatballs. So we're going to uh, just uh, have a really fun time here tonight, see what that place is all about, and go from there. Oh my gosh, look how amazing this place is, all lit up at night. That is beyond the lens right there. We have a waffle and pancake house across the street. There's a Ozark Land, Clay Cooper Theater, and this is Paschetti's. That is about the largest meatball and fork and tomato I have ever seen. <laughs> Oh my gosh, look at you. They even have spaghetti hanging off the top. And that is just the entrance to the building. This place should be awesome. And here's a look at it from the other side where we just walked through. And then right up above, the largest green pepper I've ever seen. Chicken Parmesan they're advertising. Open daily at 11 and now hiring. So that's where we came in and just take a look at this place. We have a bar right here in front. Look at this tree, completely decorated with poinsettias and it's like we are in the middle of a city here. Look at that, they've got buildings with fire escapes. There's a Ferris wheel up there, Coney Island on the top. Oh my gosh, I have never seen anything quite like this. This tree is just beautiful. It's not even close to Christmas yet and I'm already in the Christmas spirit. Whippersnappers, all you can eat crab legs. That's what that sign says up there. And so there's where we came into our area. This is our table right over here. They've got all sorts of cool decor and even a little elevated areas where you can have uh, reservations as well and here is a look at the menu and for entrees of course we're gonna go with uh, Pescetti and meatball the place is called Pescetti so that's what we have to try and we can even get an appetizer what should we get spinach and artichoke dip or toasted cheese ravioli I think it's gonna be the toasted cheese ravioli that Very sounds more like Italian I think I will have a, do you have Dr. Pepper? Do I have Dr. Pepper? I sure do. Do Dr. Pepper and some cheese raviolis? I'll yes. I'll this together, I'll be right back. Awesome. Great service. Love it already. Wow, very quick service around here. Here's our toasted cheese ravioli, and it looks absolutely delicious. All right, so here we go with the taste. We have our ravioli, we have our marinara sauce. We're gonna give it a try here. Mmm, crispy, cheesy, and very ravioli-y. Just the way I like it. This is awesome. Thumbs up for that. And there's also a guy who comes around who's a photographer here at Paschetti's. So you can get your own souvenir picture if you so desire. And here it is, our spaghetti and meatballs. Look at that. Or should I say Paschetti and meatballs. <laughs> that looks absolutely delicious. All right. And here we go. Our very first bite of Paschetti and meatballs. This looks delicious. Let's give it a try. Mm. Very flavorful on the meatballs. Has a little touch of spice to it, but not too spicy. Great flavor. I can see why people come here. Not just for the big fork and meatball out there on the street, but there's a lot to see right in here as well. So if you're in Branson, this is definitely a must-do. Very, very good. And of course, you can't have an Italian meal like that without topping it off with some Spumoni ice cream. Look at that. And here we go. The awesome topper, the cherry on top, the Spumoni ice cream. Mm. Perfect. I have not had 
I don't think I've had Spumoni ice cream in years. I love this stuff and I hardly ever have it. So when you're at a place like this and they have Spumoni ice cream, definitely get it. For sure. Well, as we take one more look around this place, look at that, they've got a trolley car up top. I bet you can dine in the trolley car as well. What an awesome city setup and a beautiful Christmas tree. This place was amazing. What a successful day. We drove all night long, got checked into a really nice hotel, and here we are in the middle of an awesome, awesome place. Paschetti's, ladies and gentlemen. You should definitely check it out. If you guys liked what you saw here today, go ahead and hit like on my YouTube channel. While you're at it, go ahead and hit subscribe and the little bell notification next to it so you can be the first to know when a new adventure comes out. Thank you guys all so much for all of the support that you've given me so far. And until next time, I hope to catch you on the flip side. Look at that beautiful tree.